Indie Rage Radio, IndieRageRadio.com. We are back here with another behind-the-scenes video of what it takes to get an interview for the radio these days, or at least how we do it over here at Indie Rage Radio. With us, Door 13 from San Diego. Thank you guys for coming. Hey, how you doing? Hey, thanks for having us, Mike. Hi, everyone. Happy Good to be here. You. All right, before we start the radio interview, this video is sponsored by, you can see it in the crawl, or you can go in the description, our C4 Energy affiliate link. If you're staying up late to go to a Door 13 show, you might need a little pep. Also, if you like working out, also C4 known for their free workout. So any purchase from our link, tinyurl.com slash shop C4 Energy, we get a small commission and it helps support our mission of giving a global platform to help promote independent and unsigned bands. So we sure would appreciate it. And it's right. delicious. Cheers. <laughs> I'm typing the C4 website right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go in three, two, one. Indie Rage Radio, IndieRageRadio.com kicking off our number one. And I am totally excited for this episode because if you've listened to the show, you know my music taste is very female forwarded. I love female fronted rock and metal bands and we got a doozy here with us today for uh folks we got door 13 from san diego what's up guys hey good to be here man thanks for having us on the show good yeah, to be man. here good to be here all right so first i'd be remiss if i didn't say thank you to gg from curtain call records for helping me get in touch with alec and uh getting all this coordinated so thank you ma'am sure do appreciate it and if you love Hard Rock, you got to go check out the roster over at Curtain Call Records. They got some phenomenal bands on the roster. All right, so we like to play a game at the very beginning of the show because the Rage Nation, they're a little nosy. They want to know a little bit of the behind the scenes of what Door 13 is all about. So we're going to play Smash or Pass. Oh, Right. But it's probably not the smash pass. pass you're thinking about. I'm gonna. Oh, okay. Tell us. Yeah. Tell us why. I thought maybe you're gonna throw band members at us. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you something, and if you like it, you smash it, and if you don't, you pass it. Was that a cat? Uh, oh my, my cat. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, is that stuff. one of the sound effects of smashing? Smash. <laughs> Is that when how the game to, begins? When, or what? when she wants to go outside, she she circles my legs and meows at me for an hour. <laughs> you know what? My cat, shout out to Fancy. She's about <laughs> six. She's about sixteen years old, and she has been a non vocal cat her whole life. And this last year, she started meowing with the best of them. And she'll just stand in the middle of the room and cock her head up for no reason. She's not looking at me. She's not looking at my kids. Nothing. She's just looking at the ceiling and she's going to town. I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, wow. Cat she, must, she must see something you don't. Yep. yep. Possibly. <laughs> but she sees it a lot because she does it all the time. All right, here we go. Let's play smash or pass. Number one. We're going to start off with some San Diego themed stuff here since you guys are over in the Diego. Yeah. Beaches. Smash or pass? Smash. 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 What's the best beach over in San Diego? Or is there just La one? La Jolla. Yeah, probably La Jolla. La Jolla. I like I like uh, Moon, Moonlight Beach too. Oh, Moonlight Beach up near a Solana Beach, which is yeah. awesome. Yeah. I I grew up in Mission Beach, so I always call that the best. Just so, it's just where That's I came right. from. Right, you got a local <laughs> Gusto's local Mission Beach guy. I bet you the beaches are beautiful over there. Over here in Lake Charles, or just the Gulf in general, like it's muddy water. You can't see anything. You don't know if a shark's about to come up and gobble you. <laughs> they they got brain eating amoebas in there. It's terrible. It's, it's part like of a, the it's fun, like, right? It's like a big <laughs> gross lake. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're taking your life in your hands every time you go to a beach on the Gulf. Yeah. Well, li living on the best coast doesn't suck. Just put that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I yeah. wish there was some warmer water at times, but yeah, it's uh, it, yeah. it's pretty nice out here. Uh, they call the Gulf Coast the third coast for a reason. <laughs> it's <Right>. a dead last. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Smash or pass? Comic-Con. Smash. Smash. Uh, it, does it, uh, oh. I don't uh -oh, know. Yeah, smash, smash. 
<laughs> I've never been to that thing, but yeah, I, I've heard it's cool and I've seen stuff. So I yeah. went. I, I went one year, and just just the people watching is is amazing. Okay, it's amazing. I didn't go to the convention, but I just you, you go downtown where the convention center is, and you just watch the people. It's incredible. They're, those yeah. cosplay people are just those. Those things are amazing. They just the the, the detail and work they put into them is incredible. One hundred percent smash. Yeah, I was it's talking. It's every with, year, right? It's every year. Hmm? Okay. Yep. I was talking with John from Take. He lives in Las Vegas, and he says, you know, locals pretty much don't go to the Strip because of tourists. Like around Comic Con, are you guys like avoiding downtown at all cost? Yeah, usually. I mean, I, I I lived in Vegas for twelve years, so we we did the same thing. It's 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 one of those things where you know it's there. It's cool to have when like people come to town and you get to hang out, but typically you just avoid it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If there's a gig or something and you and you have to go down there, then yeah, kind of you have to. But uh, yeah, I try to not. <laughs> All right. So next up, San Diego has over 150 breweries. Also, the birthplace of the modern craft beer movement. So smash or pass on IPAs. Smash. 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 Uh -oh. <laughs> I, I quit. We have I quit, a couple I quit, non drinkers I, in our band, so <laughs> yeah, I quit drinking about nine years ago. But I, I beer, I love beer, so I would say smash as well. They're like non alcoholic IPAs are cool, so that's why I said smash. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, still yeah. there. I mean, that's just a gateway drug for me. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do, do the non alcoholic ones still taste like really hoppy too? Yeah. It's like it's like the same, but without the you know afterwards stuff. Yeah. So yeah. That's pretty dope. I don't drink either, so I, I mean I've just heard the lore of the hoppiness, but I would imagine like of course I've tasted beer and I think it's not very good. So I can't imagine <laughs> ramping that up What's by million. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. All right, so smash or pass on flying. Oh, smash. Smash. Like wait, totally like, smash. like flying, like jumping out of a plane or like getting in a plane and flying. <laughs> yeah, no, like hopping on a spirit airline. Or dreams when you're oh, flying. If it's spirit, forget about it. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I, I say smash. I love traveling. So yeah, yeah. It's oh, the only way to get anywhere good. You can get, you get on a plane. Spirit, spirit if it's under an hour. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Smash. All right, smash or pass? Pop punk depends. Uh, I I'm gonna say <laughs> pass. pass. It's not kind of not my vibe, but yeah, pass. <laughs> Guys, you better smash. Them. I'll say smash. <laughs> Who was that that said smash? I did. Oh, but, that's right. You were in a you were in a kind of ska reggae band, right, Gusto? I've done many different things, but I actually I played in a. Uh, punk cover band that basically did 70s through 90s covers that uh just short fast like no effects so yeah nice. i'm very familiar with uh the pop punk type thing <laughs> nice i have an ally <laughs> <laughs> not right. my favorite but i but i like it smash or pass energy drinks pass 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 i i smash them every once in a while <laughs> <laughs> shaky we're already hyper. We don't need any more hype. Yeah, right. I, don't, I definitely don't do them as often. If I know I'm gonna be out late and I'm kind of tired, I might, I might have one. But I don't, I, on, on the reg, no, I don't. Definitely not. So smash slash pass. <laughs> All right, and the, finale, and the finale of Smash or Pass. Mullets. Smash. <laughs> are they hold on? Are, they, are mullets coming back? Because I've seen them lately. Oh, dude, like, they're back. Like I had a mullet, and I'm like, I'll never have a mullet again in my life. So total pass for me. I would say pass. I would say pass too. Uh, At I'm, this a, I'm, age, a NAS, I'm a NASCAR fan, so I've got an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Some some trends should just stay dead, as far as I'm concerned. Like we don't need to bring those back. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I think you would have one epic mullet. Yeah, you would. Oh, I did. I, I absolutely did. But just think of like, you know, fro with long curls in the back is fucking choice. I saw a picture of a guy today that had a, 
I saw a guy today that had a mullet, but it was shaped like an iguana with the legs shaved in around the head and then the tail no was down kidding. through the back. Oh. It had the big iguana spike all the way up the top. It was really cool. Was that in Mission Beach? No, no. It was a photo I saw today. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a Mission Beach thing. Like you'd see that. Thing. Right. Pretty much. That is rad. <laughs> all right. So that was Smash or Pass with Door 13. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Very well. Thank you. All right. So. The- the first song we're going to play from you guys is a song you're supporting right now. And congratulations. It's the number three most added song on the SMR rock chart. Yeah. yeah. We're super wow. pumped about that. Exciting. So just, we're gonna, the, just the beginning. <laughs> let's talk about the song now. Brand new. It's out everywhere. What's the song about? Uh, I guess I'll answer that one. Uh, it's all about staying in the present moment. Um, I think that we get sidetracked and, uh, life happens and, uh, we forget that, um, staying in the present moment is, uh, very, very important and, um, and persistence and keep going, doing what you're doing and walking through that door. And each door has a new, uh, journey and uh, so now is really about just staying in the present moment and um, doing what you need to do now. Here it is. It's the brand new single from Door 13. If your radio station in your neck of the woods isn't playing it, they can get it. Request it. It's Door 13 with now here on Indie Rage Radio. All right. Very cool. Nice. Segment two. We're going to talk a little bit about the band. But the band. Here we go. <clears throat> In three, two, one. Indie Rage Radio, IndieRageRadio.com. We are back with Door 13. They're a hard rock band from San Diego, California. Now, where can they find you on the internet? Uh, we're on all the typical social media platforms, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, uh, YouTube, of course. Uh, and then all the music streaming platforms as well. Uh, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, YouTube Music, all those, pretty much anywhere you can find us. And we're and we're, we're pretty active as well. So we post pretty consistently. Awesome. Google them. Go on your favorite streaming platform, your favorite social media platform. Search Door 13. Hit that follow button. Stream their music. Buy their merch. Go support this band. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and go down. We'll start. Um, ladies first. Go ahead. Tell the Rage Nation your name, what you do with the band, and what your favorite pizza topping is. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, that's an easy one. Uh, my name is Mercedes Carvajal. I'm the singer for Door 13. And uh, my favorite topping on a pizza is pepperoni. <laughs> Classic. Um, can you go tell my friend Dave? He's outside, I think. Can you tell him I'm doing my interview? <clears throat> okay. Is, is that it for me? Yeah, that's uh, next. Next. What are we going with? Bernal? Yep. Next, like in which order? Yes. I see myself next, I guess. Okay. Well, I'm Bernal yes. and I play the drums. And uh, my favorite uh, pizza topping is. Probably black olives. Ooh, okay. Yuck. I didn't expect that. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't need pizza like like I haven't had pizza like I don't know for how long now, but I would say yeah, black olives. Right on. Yeah. All right. Gus. Uh can I get the question repeated? Someone was asking me something offset if you don't mind. So I need to get that repeated to me, please. Yeah, go ahead and introduce yourself, what you do with the band and what your favorite pizza topping is. All right. My name is Gusto. I am the bassist, and my favorite pizza topping, I would have to say, is cheese. I really love cheese pizza. I don't mm. know what it is, but I think that's just any time, any day, just, yeah, cold, hot, whatever. I'm good with it. You go with the Macaulay Culkin <laughs> Home Alone pizza. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm the, I'm last. Uh, my name is Alec. I am the guitar player for Door 13, and my favorite pizza topping is also pepperoni. Nice. Woo! <laughs> nice. Little, little slices of awesome. Any fans of pineapple in the group? Oh, I am. I love Ooh, pineapple. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. Usually Actually, that's I'm, a scandalous I'm, question, but we have friends here. Oh, ham, yeah. Ham, ham and pineapples. Perfect. Yeah, yeah I'm anyway. all over the line. Are you are you asking pineapple on pizza or just pineapple yeah. in general? Oh, yeah. Okay. I love pineapple on pizza. I've had it. It's not bad. It's not. It's not pepperoni. <laughs> right. <laughs> not many pepperoni things are. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then I got a question about the pepperoni. Do you like it pooling with the grease, or do you like it just enough grease to where it's around the uh, the pepperoni itself? I'll take it either way because it uh, it sometimes depends on um, where you buy your pizza from and what type of pizza you buy. Yeah, I'll do it either way. There nice. you go. Yeah, those those pepperonis that like curl up and like into like a bowl and it's just like right. holding that greasy goodness <laughs> and, the, and, and the edge is like a li little it's a little crunchy you know, you yeah know, that's really i good. haven't had pizza in like four months so let's let's change the subject <laughs> it's time i'm gonna order a pizza right now <laughs> Heck yeah all right so congratulations on performing at the san diego music awards thank yeah. you yeah thank that was you. um that was quite an honor just to be uh, just to be nominated. Um, yeah, I was going to get to that too. Congrats on being nominated uh, for best new artist. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it was, uh, super, you. super, super honor um, just to, to be nominated and to be there. And uh, we had a really great time at the award ceremony, and it was really fun. I was looking through your social media, being a total creeper, and um, like I was looking at some of the photos that you guys have posted from the San Diego Music Festival. And I, I got to tell you, um, Mercedes, you had some, you had like a, uh, like a red and black fur coat on yeah. and you had some really hard and Wilson vibes kicking there. Oh, thank you. Well, that's, that's definitely a compliment. I love Ann Wilson. Yeah. yeah it kind of reminded me. Yeah. Have you guys seen the video of when, um, Heart performed um, Stairway to Heaven for Led Zeppelin at the Kennedy oh, Center. Oh, yes. That was amazing. No. Oh, man. That you got to look that great. up tonight. That's, that's the homework for tonight. You go yeah. on YouTube. You put in Heart, Led Zeppelin, Kennedy Center. Yeah. It's going to blow you away. Robbie Plant. I call him Robbie because, you know, we're tight. Um, <laughs> 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 Robbie Plant, uh, man, watching his reaction and and seeing, seeing him just, uh, uh, you know, the reaction of it was amazing amazing yeah that was a great 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 show he was getting teary-eyed and he yeah. always said like in interviews you know he never was a fan of that song because none of it was his the lyrics weren't his right. the music wasn't his so he never really liked it but then when Hart performed it when ann was belting out he was like you know what i finally see why everybody loves this song yeah yeah definitely That's really cool Mer uh, mercedes gets that uh, a lot and wilson yeah, I was watching, um, you guys have a video on your YouTube. It was your debut live concert. And you guys sound phenomenal live. Mm, thank Absolutely you. Absolutely phenomenal. Thank I you. Mean, we really work on that, Mike. That is like a huge thing for us, our, our live performances. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, don't end video. I want more. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we got to do more of that. That's funny. Funny you say that because I, I've been going back and kind of watching it. We've, we, we videotape about everything. Um, so we have every show we've done, um, Gus's wife, uh, she does, uh, video st uh, stuff for a living. We got a bunch from her and I'm like, man, I'd to, love to post something else, but we don't have anything great with, with, with all four of us yet. Hmm. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting for that. That's from the next show. Hopefully. All right. So the next song we're going to play is Notre Dame or do you guys pronounce it? Notre Dame. Notre Dame. There we go. Nope. Yeah. What's this song about? Uh, I can tell you a little bit about it. Um, well, I can tell you a lot about it. It, it is um, it is about the cathedral in France, in Paris. And um, I just so happened to be there right after it burned down. And um, it was uh, a sight to see, if you could just say it was, uh, it's the smell the just the the darkness the grayness of everything the soot everywhere and um it is one of the most amazing gothic cathedrals in the world and uh, i had previously been there a couple times and so when i went back and saw um you know i just so happened to be there and um and uh it's really the story about what i saw that night and i was probably walking around 
outside at two o'clock in the morning with a bottle of wine and a piece of bread and some cheese <laughs> and uh, thinking that, you know, here I am in Paris, I'm going to have this great time. And, uh, and it really was, uh, it was, it was a catastrophe. Mm. <laughs> I'll say what happened. So it's really about, um, about what I saw there. And then after I wrote it, I realized that I was possibly singing about myself as well. So there was something in the structure and the the female presence of that building. Um, and if you listen to the lyrics, um, I started relating my own life to um, of, uh, kind of like the burning down or the disintegration of the roof. And, um, and uh, so anyways, uh, that's what it's about. Thanks for asking. Here it is. It's Notre Dame from Door 13 on Indie Rage Radio. All right, very cool. So segment number three, we're not going to have a song at the end of this one. Uh, did they did they convince you to eat any escargot while you were in France? No, did but I, I did try I did try some when I was in Washington, D.C. How'd that go? <laughs> Ugh, no yeah. way. My yeah, kid yeah. loved it. He was really young at the time. Um, and then he, we came home and it was like roasted in garlic and he threw it all up. So I'll, I'm never, <laughs> ever, ever going to eat that stuff. That seems like the only move. <laughs> yeah. And that, that tastes any better coming, going out than it does going in. <laughs> and, and look, I got to say it, Alec, your cat is beautiful, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah. She's, um, uh, you were mentioning about your cat being vocal recently. Like my cat is vocal all the time. Like every day like when she wants something she'll and she does this weird we, we had a cat prior to this one um this one like will like watch everything you do like literally like lock eyes on you and just as you enter the room and you walk around the room it's creepy I'm like what are you looking at <laughs> like stop it <laughs> <laughs> meows and does all kinds of crazy things so yeah you think you're always plotting on them yeah we have a we have, we have a dog too so of course she she is the alpha the dog's like oh um, stay away from my me. cat. My <laughs> cat is playing with me right now. It keeps walking around the chair and won't let me grab her and pick her up. Oh, her no. she, she's got stage fright. So. Yeah, a little camera shy. <laughs> my cat had no choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Segment three in three, two, one. Indie Rage Radio, IndieRageRadio.com kicking off our number two. No better way to do it than with Door 13 from San Diego, California. Speaking of Door 13 and San Diego, let's talk about the San Diego rock club scene. How's it popping over there? Oh, man. Um, the music scene here is vibrant. I mean, I don't know what nice. to say. It. Um, there, partially, maybe because I haven't been here my whole life, and Gus and, and Mercedes have. I've only lived in San Diego for six years. But in the short time I've been here, just 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 seeing and then getting in, involved with uh, all the different uh, musicians and bands and clubs and uh, the clubs are just it's they're everywhere. Uh, I mean, Gus plays in uh, in a reggae band, so he's playing at the beach a lot. You know, a lot of beach clubs. We're playing at the beach next month, which is really great. There's a lot of things inland, things downtown. We got the House of Blues and the Music Box and all these great little you know bars and bar owners and. It's it's really amazing. I mean, everything from the smallest little little crappy hole in the wall to this amazing three story lit up like a nightclub, you know, sort of a venue that all local bands you know can have an opportunity to play there, which is really really cool. Even the House of Blues, it's been a while, but the local bands to play there, uh, you know, maybe once or twice a month. Yeah, you know, so it's really great for us local musicians. Yeah, Gus can account to that. Yeah. I think I've there hasn't been six months I haven't played a gig since I was maybe seventeen. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah, there's there's venues everywhere. There used to be a thing saying more bands than fans here in San Diego for a while because you could find five bands at every venue every night for Wednesday through Saturday or every night or yeah. you know more. It was ridiculous. It do, it does, however, make it difficult depending on who like if we have a show that night, you know, people have choices. They can go. Oh, I can do this show or this show or this show. Like you have to, you have to make it an event. Like you have to make it something that they're going to want to come to, because they have a lot of choices and a lot of yeah, lot of exactly. places to go. Um, 
So that, I think Mercedes was commenting, but you asking about that, uh, uh, the video you saw that, that was our debut from our debut show. Mm-hmm. Um, and we, we had planned like, that was a venue that we've pl- all played in before the first time for door 13 playing there. But the idea was we want to take a venue that everybody was familiar with and change it. Like re- try to recreate something that's a little different. So that all the regulars that walk in weren't like, Oh, it's the same place. And it's just some other band playing. Like, we, we turned all the lights off, turned the TVs off, closed the pool tables. Like the focus needs to be on the music and light shows and the whole bit. We tried to make this, you know, cl- little bar slash club into a, into a, a an arena type show. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And it, and it turned that's, out really well. And that's where this band belongs in that arena type setting, because it's the band's got a big sound, even though there's only four of us here, you know, and a lot of the times, you know, there's there's tiny little clubs around San Diego. You could play every night of the week if you wanted to. Um, but there's not like a, oh my gosh, Gus, I love your cat. Um, there's not like a condensed location, like say for instance, in Austin, you know, you have or 6th Street or, you know, somewhere in Nashville, you have certain areas. They're kind of all over the place. So... Um, and they're all within, you know, between 15 to 45 minutes, just depending. So you could go to multiple clubs and see multiple shows, um, you know, in one night, which is kind of cool. And, and, um, we've had, it's been, um, you know, one of those kind of roller coasters with all the cover, cover bands and being that we're an uh, original, original band and a lot of the bands that we have played in in the past are original music. So um, like, um, like Gus said, you know, you could, you, you could play, you know, every single week. And I think uh, similar to Gus, I've, I've probably been playing like, you know, haven't gone maybe two or three months without playing a show, you know, in town. So you kind of build up over, you know, over the years, you kind of build up that fan base or build up that kind of, um, camaraderie with concert goers you know but um but that's that's the one thing about this band is like big sound need a big 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 stage (laughs) you know what i mean so um but we have a great music scene here in san diego yeah yeah and great and great venues to play in too yeah yeah what's like the fan makeup over there like a percentage of locals and then sailors possibly um yeah it depends kind of where you are in the city. I think Yeah. if you're downtown, yeah, you'll get a lot of um, guys that are military and, uh, or if you're belly up, up North at the beach, you know, those you'll get more um, kind of, you know, that, that kind of crowd, but Alex, sorry, I, I interrupted. No, no, no. I was, I was going to make, make the same, the same comments, you know, Um, but the it's for, for us, as Mercedes was saying, um, you know, because we've all been playing in, in various bands. We've, we've done cover bands and tribute bands and original bands for years here. And and the fan base here is strong. Um, they, you know, they'll, they'll support you and you know, not necessarily the band you're in, you know. Um, <laughs> and, and, we, and we have quite a few of them. Mercedes commented about this. Like there's there, there, there's a group of, of, of fans that will go to multiple shows over the course of the evening and they go out every Friday and Saturday night. So they'll go to one show and like they'll kind of plan their evening. So they'll go to one show, one venue, and like, okay, now we got to go and see this band over here, and they'll leave and go to that show and another show. And and I'm one of those people, by the way. Yeah. And so is Alec, and so is Gus. So is Bre- I mean, we're all th- those same people, you know. We're all so, fans. Yeah. Yeah, we're all fans of of live music. Really. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. No, I can feel that because in the last twenty years, I was a. Um, Cleveland Cavs fan, then I was a Miami Heat fan, then I was a Cleveland Cavs fan again. Now I'm a Lakers fan. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Just following LeBron around. There you that's go. Right. <laughs> and I tell you what, seeing Gusto's cat, you guys have next level cats in California. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> next level. All right. <clears throat> so let's talk a little bit about San Diego. So somebody's hopping on the spirit. They're not getting in like those little bitty seats with all the crazy people. They're up front in the big seats and they're heading to San Diego. Where's one place they need to stop and eat? 
Bronx Pizza in Mission Hills. Wow, I would I would agree with that. Yeah, I I, I wish I said I, I eat out more, but my my eating out radius is like two miles from my house. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't. Uh, but there's a lot of there's a there's a lot of great restaurants. There's uh, Little Italy downtown. There there's probably five great restaurants down there, and they're and they're scattered everywhere. You know, with uh, San Diego as a whole is very spread out, like kind of like LA is. You know, so you can go to La Jolla and you can go down downtown. You can go to Santee, come up to Escondido. You'll find uh, in all like a, in a half mi- half an hour drive radius. I mean, I I can't pick one personally. Sorry, I'm and babbling. Being so close to the border, um, you know, everybody either goes down to uh, the beach, you know, and finds the local taco shop, which you can't beat a good carne asada burrito or California. Oh, burrito. that is true. Like people yeah. come, people have commented to me. They come from like the northern states. Like we can't get any good Mexican food where we are. We come here and just we want to eat Mexican food all day, <laughs> all day long. I get it. It's freaking really good here. Santa, any of the Santana's locations are fantastic. They yeah. are. Santana's is great. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, El Indio, and if you're in, uh, if you go into Coronado, maybe Poe's, or um, they have some really good seafood there if they're looking for seafood. But San Diego's a foodie town, I'll tell you. There's a lot of places to go to eat around here. Food and craft beer. Yeah. A lot of craft beer. A lot of wineries are popping up too. That's true. That's true. Sounds like you might be planning a visit, Mike. He's like, yeah, Mike, what are you coming out? First? <laughs> you never know. I won't be flying though. Uh, I'll be driving. So I think right. it'll, take, it'll take me a while. That's all right. That's all right. We Maybe I'll, I'll, take, I'll take one of those 32 day uh, train trips <laughs> or day go. train trips that would take to get all the way from Louisiana to San Diego. I'll make it. I'll, I'll make it worth your, worth your while. We all we we all will. My my wife actually works for the San Diego Zoo. Hey, yeah. So I can. Oh, uh, I love a good zoo, man. I, I yeah. love me some silverbacks. Have you? Uh, well, then you want to come to the safari park, which is where yes. I, we're about where I live because they have them there. Yeah. Yeah, Alec lives at the safari park. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, that's dope. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. Uh, pretty. That's why we're here. Actually, my my wife um, got offered uh, the executive director position of the safari park. That is cool. We have yeah. like a like a little bit up the road in Tioga, Louisiana. We have a exotic. This guy guy's like uber rich, and he he started collecting all these exotic animals. And he was like, "I want to share this with everybody." So he made it a park out of it. So you can go pet all these exotic animals and feed them. It's really cool. Wow. Sorry, I'm having feline issues over here. <laughs> I can feline see that. issues. <laughs> <laughs> the camera's bouncing yeah. everywhere. The cattails right. flopping around. <laughs> She's a little nuts. Hey, you only thought she was camera shy. No, it's all. Pay attention to me. <laughs> all right, so they had some rocking pizza and pasta over at uh, Bronx Pizza. Now they want to go catch a rock show. What's one venue they should go check out? Oh my lord! Um, I I would recommend the Music Box. I love the Music Box. But there there is that new, what's that new place the the Dome thingy? What was that called? Uh, Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> shell, the ra- Rady shell. Yeah, the that, that, that really shell. cool. Yeah, that um, looks cool. Yeah. The sound is uh three thousand. I think it seats maybe two three thousand people. The sound up in Del Mar. Isn't that but new? I, yeah, that's fairly new at the Del Mar yeah. Fairgrounds. And then I always love going to the Belly Up. It's just got a good vibe and good restaurants around there. And Belly Up Tavern is a is a great place to see shows. But we do have our favorites out here. Um, well, I'm in East County, so I'm I'm about 15, 20 minutes from the beach. So that's East. And uh, we have great venues out east, Full Circle Saloon and Navajo Live. And they they always have music, and that's what they live for, is they live for live and local local music. Yeah. Right on. All right, so they got some great pizza and pasta. They've caught their show. It's late. They're getting out the venue. What part of San Diego should they avoid? Uh, Mercedes Carvajal's neighborhood. <laughs> uh, probably want to um, 
avoid uh, downtown uh, southeast San Diego. Try not to. Uh, it's called Barrio Logan. You probably don't want to be there in the middle of the night. Though it is getting reformed right now, so it won't always be that way. But uh, you probably don't want to be down there, or maybe San Ysidro down by the border. I feel like I feel like Gus might know some of the shady parts of PB, town. PB sucks. Yeah. PB, yeah. PB yeah. sucks. Pacific does, Beach, yeah. two o'clock in the morning. You probably don't want to hang PB there. PB sucks. Yeah. Well, actually, here's something different though. I've noticed over the last six to eight months, coming out of gigs. There's nothing open anymore. So there's no food right. open. There's no nothing open. There's nothing going on anymore in the evening. So it's not like there used it used to be where, you know, I mean, there's hardly any even uh, mini marts open late anymore. So it's like you, you, besides the 7-Eleven. So you, there's yeah. really nothing going on anymore. Yeah. After people Basically, going back, give people, people a reason not to be there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't even get Del, you can't even get Del Taco at 11 p.m some nights you know yeah. what i mean so you do have to find those 24-hour denny's though there's still some mm -hmm. of those oh god bless denny's yeah <laughs> can't go wrong I, with that like uh back in 2003 me and a friend went to houston and you know map quest was just getting big so i was still using the google maps and they'd change a whole bunch of street names so the the google got us lost and <laughs> so we're in one of the worst parts of Houston and we're driving around and we're just getting more lost and more lost. So finally I stop at a gas station. I'm like, dude, I got to get directions. And he looked at me like that was the last time he was going to see me. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are you going to come with me? And he was like, no, I am not. <laughs> so I went in this gas station by myself. First time I've ever seen this dude was behind like a big plexiglass thing, totally encased. And there was a line of people. And I walk in and I get behind the line. I'm just going to wait my turn to get to him. But I guess he feels a disturbance in the force. And he knows I'm not <laughs> supposed to be there. So, like, he looks past the line. And then he's like, hey, man, you need something? I was like, I need to get to back to um, Louisiana. And he was like, yeah, I'll get you on the toll road to get you out here real, quiet, uh, real, real fast. But. We'd already seen Amberlynn and Reliant K that night. We spent pretty much all of our money at the show. So we were scrounging for change. Oh, no. <laughs> pull over to the side before the last one and just like tear the car up to try to get some change to get through it. But we finally made it home. That's oh, fun. That's, that's funny about that line you're in. Like that line was very specific for very specific people. And all of a sudden you're like, you shouldn't be in this line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You probably, he probably, he probably did you a solid. He's like, yeah, you got to get up, get going. <laughs> yeah. He knew, he knew. Oh, he was like, I got to get this guy out of here. <laughs> yeah. All That's right. Cool. We will continue our conversation with door 13. We'll end the show with him coming up later on right here on Indy rage radio. All right. Very good. So segment four is kind of like, it's at the end of the show. We're up against the clock type thing. So we're just putting a bow on everything. Got it. All right, here we go. <clears throat> In three, two, one. Indie Rage Radio, IndieRageRadio.com. Sadly, this happens every week. The show comes to an end. Boo. Had a great time tonight with Door 13. They are from San Diego, California. Look, go search them on your favorite social media platform, your favorite streaming platform. Get their music tonight. The brand new single now is out everywhere. They're supporting it on radio. So wherever you live, if your local radio station's not playing it, look, Curtain Call Records, they're getting this thing out everywhere. You call them up, you request it, they can get it. Also, awesome. buy some merch. Help support this band. Yes. Yeah. All right. So we only got a few minutes left, guys. Oh, no, Mike, we don't want it to end. Please <laughs> don't know. end. <laughs> All good. We want to see more cats. <laughs> All right. So what does the future look like for Door 13? Wow. Um, we're, 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 we're kind of stuck in the present because we, we, we have this plan going on. But right now, the future for us, we, we're focusing on this year, just uh, keeping it as simple as we can. So we have, I believe, three more singles that we plan to release. Uh, so we, we have them. They're being mixed and mastered right now. A um, bunch of cool shows locally. Um, we're looking to expand a bit outside of uh, San Diego, get up to L.A. and Orange County and 
nice. uh, possibly Vegas and um, down in uh, Tijuana. There's a lot of great venues down in Tijuana to play. They, nice. love, they love rock music down there. Um, and Curtain Call is uh, is doing an amazing job. Um, and we're hoping with the uh, that now will be as, as successful as we would like it to be and may possibly open up opportunities in other markets for us. We get a strong fan base going and then maybe get on a few festivals. Yep. Most definitely. Like when you said Orange County, it gave me flashbacks to 1999. One of my favorite bands of all time, Orange County Supertones. Gusto uh, knows about them. Oh. <laughs> Orange County. <laughs> oh, wow. That's just, just an hour north of us about. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So the last song we're going to play is drowning and congratulations. This song has over 31,000 plays on YouTube. This yeah. thing took off. Yep. What What's drowning about? Mercedes. Oh boy. Okay. Well, drowning <laughs> is um, <laughs> it's a kind of a heavy song. Mike, it's um, it's uh. Okay, your few minutes are up. Move on. Songs <laughs> where um, uh, you know, it's 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 about an, a re- a relationship, and it's about getting to the point in the relationship where you just feel super stagnant, where you feel like you are like suffocating, where you know, you're being pushed down so hard that it's hard to get back up. And, um, and really it's about kind of realizing, you know, your strength and, and getting through what you need to get through and, um, and not putting up with it anymore. You know, um, a a big part, you know, being a a woman in a, in, and it's still a man's world, uh, in the music industry, though we have tons and tons of, new women artists that are coming out like every day, which is super exciting. Um, But it is kind of one of those devastating kind of situations where you're just being held down. And um, as a woman, um, I find myself reaching out into, you know, my comrades, which are my bandmates usually, and just, you know, having those in the past, having those hard times where you're just like, Hey man, I'm your, I'm your brother's daughter. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like your bro's daughter. This is what I'm trying to say. You know, Mm -hmm. it's like all your brothers out there, you know, I'm, I'm one, I'm one of the daughters. So help me out. And it feel, it felt like to me, um, it felt like to me, it's like, Hey, wait, wait, what about me? You know, down here, I'm, I'm having a hard time. So it's, uh, it's, it's, really kind of came about the camaraderie that I have with some of my other musicians and helping me get through a difficult time in, in a relationship. My name is Mikey. Yo, she is Mercedes. He is <laughs> Bernal. He is Alec and he is Gusto. And they are door 13 from San Diego, California. This is their song drowning on Indie Rage radio. Yeah. We'll see you when we see you later, later guys. Hey, Mike. Thank you so much. Awesome. Guys, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. You guys were a blast. Yeah, yeah. it was fun. It was really fun. We love yeah. doing this stuff. Can I just, I just say... Like... Go ahead, Bernal. No, sorry. I was just saying it was nice meeting you, and it was a really fun interview. Like Thank nothing you. we're like used to. So thanks for making uh, it a different. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Those I'll other just, interviews, I mean, they'll they'll tell you about it. I gotta look off, but thank you so much for having us for your hospitality. Yeah, man. You have all the things very well prepared. You're a pro, and it's great to talk with people like you, man. And appreciate you, brother. Supporting rock and roll, dude. Yeah, yeah dude. whatever. Bye, Bernal. Bye, Bernal. Later, buddy. Bye, See, you. See you, man. See you, man. See you guys. Yeah, I'll um, I'll, I'll definitely uh, uh, piggyback off of Bernal. Um, we've done maybe a half a dozen interviews in like a few months now, and yours is like perfectly structured. You know what you're doing and when you're doing and what you're going to say. And um, oh, yeah, right. I mean, <laughs> um, it's it was great, man. It was you did an amazing job. I, I really I really enjoyed it, and it's it's nice to work with a pro. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, we appreciate it for sure. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Keep up the hard work, man. You guys are putting out some great music. Well, thank, thank you, you for supporting us. It's uh, you sort of, certainly we can't do this without people like you. You know, so we 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 truly appreciate what you do. 
Absolutely. <clears throat> and, and before you guys hop off, Mercedes, yeah. what, what you were saying about drowning, yeah. um, I just did a reaction video to a new song from uh, the band Future Palace. They're on um, a rising empire, record label from Germany. Okay. And her song was about that. And really? it is absolutely epic. Wow. And, and like at some point, you know, um, she's got like a record executive, like in handcuffs. Oh. And she's just like screaming at him. She's like, you know, you know, um, you're sitting there telling me to rip my clothes off, essentially trying to make me a sex symbol, but I just want to rock. Yeah, love it. Love it. I'll have to look that up. Future Palace. Future Palace, the echoes of disparity. Is that is Future Palace the band name? Yes. Gotcha. Okay, I, I found them here. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. They're from, out of Germany, did you say? Right. Yeah, they're, I got. They're I got to go, Germany. guys. I got. I got a client here. I got a. I got a hey, no problem, right. Thanks, I'll man. You guys. See you later. Yeah, bro. Later, bud. You know, you know, you know what's what's also been super awesome lately is is we've I've been discovering all these new bands, mm -hmm. you know, either through Spotify or you're talking to people like you. You know, yep. and yeah, um, you know, we 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 had the the privilege of there's a uh, Facebook page called Brutal Beauties. Mm. It's run by a really nice girl named Crystal, and she she posts. It's all female fronted related, right? So she posts all these big names and, you know, uh, in this moment and Ginger and Hailstorm and all these bands. And I happened to come across her page like a month ago. So I started like, you know, liking things and commenting stuff. And she reached out like the next day. She's like, hey, you know, I saw you guys comments. So we, I, I checked you out. I really dig your music. I want to start this new feature where I'm featuring up and coming artists. Right so we, 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 we had the privilege of being her very first feature. Uh, yeah, no. it was very up cool. And, up and coming, and she's she's doing more and more of them. But she has like seventy five thousand, over seventy five thousand followers on this page. It's, like, it's wow. amazing. Some of her, some of her posts get like three to four to five thousand likes. It's crazy. Yeah, nice. It's, it's, yeah, it's don't check that out, Mike. You'll you'll enjoy it if you like yeah. female vocalists. Cause oh yeah, most like, definitely. Like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do it right when we get off. There, nice. there, there, there's a very strong uh, support group out there for for up and coming bands. Is this somebody like that reaching out to, I mean, I'm, I'm sure she's just having a good time, right? She enjoys these kind of bands and she wants to put them out there and, you know, but to really reach out to a band she'd never heard of, didn't know, you know, give, mm -hmm. give it a chance, listen to it. And yeah, that's what we want everybody to do, right? Like give it a chance. You might like it, you know, yeah. and, and who knows, right? Too okay. many people are, are kind of stuck in whatever they grew up with. You know, it's like, this is the only music that matters to me when I grew up in the eighties or nineties or whatever it is. And, Tough, tough time selling the newer stuff to them. Right. Yeah. Well, guys, but we ain't gonna stop. Yeah. Can't stop us. Is that song? <laughs> Appreciate it. And yeah, later on down the line, when you guys start releasing some more music, you know, we'd love to have you guys yeah. on again. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. That's awesome, Mike. Thanks so much for having us. Yeah, no problem. All right, brother. Appreciate it, man. Keep doing right. what you're doing, man. Thank you. Y'all take care. Bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.